everyone, this is Miss Maths 1. We're going to be exploring this problem involving exponents and um, general algebra. So yeah, be sure to follow till the end. If you've got any comments, you can drop it in the comment section. Uh, like and subscribe and let's get straight into it. The sum is 2 to the power of n plus 2 times 4 to the power of n plus 1 over 8 to the power of n minus 1. For starters, we can see all of these bases are not the same. So we are going to change them so that they are prime bases. So we can see 2 is already a prime base. So we can leave it as 2 to the power of n plus 2. 4, I can change uh, to a prime base and that will be 2 to the power of 2. And that I'm going to keep in brackets because later I'm going to distribute it to the exponents on the outside. Now for the denominator. 8, we can express as a prime base of 2 to the power of 3. Okay, keep it in brackets again because we are going to distribute in the next step. Now, we know according to the laws of exponents, if I've got an exponent uh, on the inside of a bracket and then the exponent on the outside, we are going to do distribution of that exponent. All right, so this is going to be 2 to the power of n plus 2. This is going to be 2 to the power of 2 times n, which is 2n, and then 2 times 1, which is 2. In a similar way, we're going to do the one in the denominator. This is going to be 2 to the power of 3n minus 3. Now, we can clearly see that all of the bases are 2, so we can compare them. Now, there are different ways you can do it, but for today, I'm going to bring everything into one line. So I will have 2 to the power of n plus 2. Now when I've got the same bases, by law 1 I can add the exponents. So here I've got plus 2n plus 2. Now when I am taking the ones from the denominator, by law 2 of exponents, division of the same bases implies subtraction of the exponents. So now I'm going to subtract the value of the exponent at the bottom like that. So this 3 in minus 3, we are going to put a minus in front of that. Okay, now continuing, we've got 2 to the power of n plus 2 plus 2 in plus 2. Distributing this negative inside the bracket, we've got minus 3 in plus 3. Now simplifying like terms, we've got an n term, a 2 in term, a minus 3 in term, and the rest of them are numbers. So we're saying 2. n plus 2n is 3n, but if we take 3n away from that, it cancels out. So we don't have any n's in our exponent. 2 plus 2 is 4, and 4 plus 3 is 7. So our answer is 2 to the power of 7. Now you're welcome to go and type this in on your calculator. 2 to the power of 7 gives us an answer of 128. Go 128. Okay, so the key things to take away from this is expressing our bases as primes um, and accurately applying our laws of exponents. Law 1, where we add them, law 2, when we are ending up with a subtraction, and then we've got exponents, two exponents, that rule of distribution. Okay, thanks everyone for watching. Have a great day.